A104 Part 3, Notes on Earth's Orbit. Today's purpose, we will learn how the Earth moves in its orbit around the Sun. What season is shown at the starting point in the diagram above? The starting point right here, we have the axis being tilted away from the Sun, and so this is winter. This is the first day of winter, when it's tilted away from the Sun. Exactly how long will it take to do one complete revolution, one full orbit? 365.25 days to get all the way around to, the, to this exact same position. See, Kylie, put away your phone, please. James, put away your phone. So it takes a little bit more than 365 days to get to the same spot. So after just simply 365 days, Earth does not complete one full orbit. It's off by just a quarter day. After two years, it'll be a half day short of a full orbit. After three years, it'll be three-fourths of a day short. After four years, it's going to be one day, one full day short of a full orbit. And so slowly over the years, 4th of July will end up being a winter holiday, slowly over the years. If we're off by one day every four years, that's not good. We like to have consistency. Now, some cultures in the past have had um, a, a variable kind of a calendar. They kept um, the calendar according to the moon cycles, one month being one full moon to the next full moon. And in that kind of a situation, um, they either had a special two-week month to get things reset, or they just simply accepted that, hey, sometimes a certain date is in the summer when it's hot, and sometimes later on in life it's going to be um, in the winter. Anyway, here we go. We don't want to have to restart the calendar a day early. Therefore, we add a day to the month of February. What do we call that? We call that a leap year. Phone away, please, Alexa. How long will it take the Earth to get from the starting point to point A? From here to there. In months. It's going to be about three months. After we get done with this, yes. How long will it take Earth to go from from the starting point to point B? From here all the way across, that's going to be six months. How long will it take Earth to get from the starting point to C? Nine months. Okay, now, those were pretty easy. Where will the sun, well, Earth be in seven months? Label it seven in the diagram above. Put a dot somewhere on this orbit. Put a dot there and label it seven. You should have put it right around there. B is six months, C is nine months, so seven is in between. Next page. In the diagram above, where will the Earth be in two months after being position B? So it starts off here, starting point. In two months, where will it be? From here to there is three months. So two months is going to be like right there. Number 12 in the diagram above, where will the Earth be six months? Should be exactly at D on the other side. Where will it be nine months? Label it nine. It's going to be exactly at A. Number 14, it starts here. Where will it be in three months? It's going to be right there. Where will it be in seven months? That's three. This will be six. So seven will be right around here-ish. And ten months. Go ahead and mark it down on your own. This is three months, six months, nine months. So ten months is going to be just a little bit after that. Questions on that?
Tarot, the wrap-up sheet.